very powerful. Say Adam. Oh. Tremendous shape. He was super welterweight. Yeah, should Potentially be. middleweight. Not sure which one. Oh. Right here. Pavel needs a right hand for his troubles. Big knees here from the Belarusian. Beautiful take down. Oh, big oh. right hit to the body. Different size of both of these fighters. Beautiful hands. Adam. Down the left. Oh. Adam swinging right now. Big elbow attempt there from Pavel. Under 90 seconds to go. Another left hand there from Pavel. 188 centimeters high. Oh, left hook to the body. Right knee. Adam is down. Right shot of it, moving in for the kill. <laughs> well, 30 seconds left on the clock. Left one to the body and down goes Adam Quebec for the second time in the round. Pavel moving in for the kill. Big knee to the body. 10 seconds left on the clock. There's a look of worry, like I said, on the face of Adam. It's going to be a 10-7 round to the back. He's been knocked down to it. Two. Again, going back to the body. Left side, where he's knocked down. Oh, big oh. Right and then a knee strike there from Grishanovic. Right. Same side that he was able to knock down Adam from. And again, left up to the body, and then a knee strike there from Grishanovic. Adam holding on. Oh, another big knee strike there. Oh, big elbow strike there. Quebec somehow to the ring here at Radzlan Stadium. Spinning back kick and then a low kick from Pavel. And another knee strike, and down he goes, and it's all over. The beast already ranked in the top ten. Is he about to go even higher after tonight? Let's have a look at how he's doing there. That right knee to the body. Oh, great call by the ref, though. Absolutely. To be honest, he could have waited off in round number yeah, one. Absolutely. He got clipped with that right hand, but he knew exactly what he wanted to do. Targeting the left side of the body, the body that was already compromised. And down went Adam Akabak. We have a winner by way of technical knockout. Let's go.